Temperature 87.24 degrees. Local time is 12.46.24 GST. All systems nominal. Group fire engaged. Hello and welcome to the 7th Jade Falcon campaign mission, Umber Wall. We're immediately under attack by a few uh, wolf aerospace fighters. Luckily my uh, AC-5s outrange their medium lasers. So I should be able to take them out without any fear of taking damage. For this mission I am piloting a 65 ton Rifleman 2C, which is a updated and improved client version of of the Star League era Rifleman design. Now it was always traditionally supposed to be an anti-aircraft mech and since you do face a lot of uh, aircraft in this mission I thought it seemed appropriate. Thing looks a lot like a sand crawler with a big shovel welded in the front of me. I really like some of the uh, incidental props and uh, world objects in Macquarie 2. They're pretty simple but they add a lot of flavour. For aircraft, these things are actually not all that fast, so you have a fair bit of warning as they're coming in. I'm sure you've noticed I've gone with an entirely autocannon based weapon configuration. Which means I do need to be pretty aware of my ammunition usages. I'm going to take out these VTOLs with as little fire as possible. Which for the most part means uh, aiming for the fuselage. Because destroying wings or tail fins doesn't actually uh, destroy the entire aircraft, you only need to concentrate in the fuselage to take care of it. Joining me today as Starmate is Zombie Apostate, piloting a 60 ton Mad Dog. Now he didn't specify a uh, configuration, so I, I just gave him a good all-round config with uh, lots of LRMs. All points, joining formation. There are more gunships in coming, but I don't want to let the whole train get too far ahead. These aircraft are entirely fixated on the hover train until they're attacked by something else. And they can't do too much damage to it, they only have a few medium lasers. But still, you want to avoid that if possible. Usually I don't bother telling my starmates to attack these aircraft. Usually they fail to destroy them before they can run away, and I definitely don't want to let these guys get away. This one is taking a huge amount of damage for some reason. You really can't afford to choose a slow mech for this mission. Rifleman is just on the border of what I'd consider acceptable. You can see I'm only slowly catching up with the hopper train and I'm at full speed. Anything slower and it will just get away from you and you won't be able to deal with any threats that crop up. And you'll lose the hopper train and that'll end your mission very quickly. You want to stay alongside at least and preferably in front of the hover train. Every wolf threat in this mission will target the hover train instead of you so you can put yourself in position to attack on your own terms which is nice. Looks like I've got a Jenna jumping down off this bluff. All points attacking your target. Let's see how zombie apostate does against him. He 
He should just be coming into range around now. Nice shooting, Tex. You completely missed. It's kind of a pain, but the AI often doesn't wait for a lock before launching other amps. Sometimes they do, and when they do they're pretty effective, but if they don't they tend to miss a lot if the target's moving. I'm just going to try and take out this Jenner's leg, and then leave him for our star mate to finish off. I really can't afford to hang around and let the hover train get too far away. I'd also prefer if my star mate shot the Jenner instead of me. This gen is very fixated on me. Usually, when the AI is attacked by another mech, they'll switch targets to whoever's attacking them. But not this case. Luckily, he's not doing much damage. You'll also notice that the Jenner is actually capable of turning around to get a shot on me. This is one of the problems with uh, enemy mechs equipped with jump jets. Even if you take out their leg, they may not be able to pursue you, but they can still turn around to shoot at you. At least I'm out of range of possessor ramps now. This is the one twist in this mission. You need to escort this hover train all the way to the processing unit, but it has to travel through this uh, tunnel through the mountain, which is large enough for the hover train, but is definitely not going to fit my mech through there. So our only real choice is to go around. If you have powerful enough jump jets, you can jump all the way over the mountain, but that usually takes almost as long as uh, just going around. Yep, we've got two mechs in incoming, including a 100 ton direwolf. This is the heaviest and most powerful mech in the game, and it can really make short work of the hover train if you let it. I need to get around that mountain ASAP. I kind of can't believe that this Jenner is still alive. He's not going anywhere, he's a standing target. <laughs> For some reason this Stormcrow is just listed as Wolf Mech, when all the other mechs in the level actually have their destroyed. proper descriptions. <sighs> Alright, the Jenner is finally down. So, I'm going to get my Starmite to try and give me a hand with these mechs if he can get here in time. Definitely only want to take on one of these guys at once. I don't want both of them shooting me at the same time. The hover train can take a bit of damage. But I don't want to use it as a distraction for too long. It is nice though that I can uh, plan my attack on this Diabolf as I please. I want to go for that leg that's already been damaged. Well, that's got his interest. The Diabolves are equipped uh, with heavy auto cannons and a fair few laser weapons, so they can do a lot of damage very quickly, which I would like to avoid. Now that I've taken out his leg, I can destroy him at leisure. One of the main reasons I went with an auto cannon. Fantastic. Hover trains made it safely to the processing station, which just leaves this direwolf to clean up. As if the AI star mates are useful at all. They like to take credit for your kills. One of the main reasons I went with uh, an auto cannon based loadout for this mission is because they're so effective at doing a lot of damage so quickly. I wanted to be able to take out that Diabol's uh, leg as quickly as possible so I could get behind him and get out of his line of fire. 
did have to pack a lot of ammunition and be very careful not to run out halfway through, however. All points joining formation. Well, it looks like our friendly dropship is waiting to pick us up and put on the autopilot. I don't tend to use the autopilot very much. It just automatically navigates you through a sequence of nav points, which uh, really isn't particularly useful. For the most part, it's easier just to manually drive your Mac. Since the pathfinding for the autopilot isn't very good on anything but uh, flat and level terrain. Well, I think we're pretty much done here. Thanks for joining me once again, and I hope I'll see you all again for Jade Falcon Mission 8 Rogue Chariot.